Hello everyone. So this, uh, this is going to be a bit of a shorter video because uh, this was from the day that we had the late start day. So yeah, should be a bit shorter. Find the missing side of each triangle. Pythagorean theorem. That's our a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Uh, let's do, I'll just do one of these two. Let's go with, actually I'll set up the equations for both of them and then you can try it on your own. All right, I want you to do these on your own. Both of them look for the hypotenuses. Always find the hypotenuse opposite from the right angle. Number one here, our hypotenuse is C, so x squared plus 5 squared equals 8 squared. Notice we have that 8 at the end there. Two, this is going to be, uh, that y is going to be the end, so 6 squared plus 8 squared equals y squared. Finish them on your own. I expect you to be able to do that. If you have questions about how to do Pythagorean theorem, look at some of the older videos on it because uh, I've taught Pythagorean theorem in so many different videos on this channel. Yeah. His objectives, understand Pythagorean theorem converse. Uh, we actually didn't get to the real problem because uh, we had that shortened day, so let's pull that off the objectives there. I really need to get in the habit of erasing objectives if we don't actually get to them. Pythagorean theorem converse. So that's, Pythagorean theorem is where we have a right triangle, and so then we do a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Converse is that we check, we have all three sides already, we already have a, b, and c. We check if a squared plus b squared is equal c squared. If it does, then that means it's a right triangle. Oh, today's lesson. I, I remember this now. Today's lesson, you will want a calculator. In fact, I want a calculator. I forgot about this, but we did this uh, the day that uh, I had the, everyone was gone. And, or not everyone was gone. A lot of people were absent that day. And so, yeah. You want a calculator that can do exponents. Okay, so converse, we set it up, we need to do this equation. We need to make sure we have the right number at the end, so we make sure we have the biggest number last. And that would be the 73 in this case. So it's a uh, 48 squared plus 55 squared equals 73 squared. So 48 squared, that's 2,304. 55 squared, that is... 3,025, 73 squared, 5,329. Now we add these two together, 2,304 plus 3,025, that's 9, 2, 3 plus 0, 3, 2 plus 3, 5. 5,329. Since a squared plus b squared equals c squared, that means this one is a right triangle. Number five, on the other hand, we've got 98, 65, 73. So that 98 has to go last. 65 squared plus 73 squared equals 98 squared. So 65 squared, that is uh, 4,225. 73 squared, 5,329. 98 squared, 9,600. Uh, no, I think here. Yeah, 9,604. Now we add these two together. Let me make sure I have that right because uh, it's been a little bit. Yep, 9604. We add these two together. Uh, 4, 3, 1, 5, 5, 9554 and 9604. So are those equal? No, they are not. That means these is, this one is not a right triangle. Okay, so that's how Pythagorean Theorem Converse works. You set up an equation like this. Um, if you already know which one's the biggest, set up an equation first and square them. If you don't, and we'll look at those in a little bit, problems where we don't actually know it immediately, uh, you'll want to set it up slightly differently. Uh, so this page, I'll do two of these with you guys. How about uh, six and seven? Then you can do eight and nine on your own. Again, calculator, highly recommended. All right, so pause the video, try these out on your own, and then I'll go over two of them with you, six and seven. So, problem number six. Let's set this up, 84 squared plus 187 squared equals 205 squared. 84 squared, 7,056. 187 squared, 34,969. And 205 squared, 42,025. Add these up. 
You may find it helpful just to add them up on the calculator rather than trying to add them up in your head, but just make sure you're typing it in correctly on the calculator. If you add these two together, they make 42,025. And so you have the same number twice. They are equal, so this one is a right triangle. Yes, it is. Number seven. So we'd want to do 250 squared plus 350 squared equals 450 squared. So 250 squared, that is 62,500. 350 squared, that's 122,500. 450 squared is 202,500. If you add these two together, let's see, 500 plus 500. Eighteen thousand five hundred, which is not the same. So this one is not a right triangle. Okay. How about something like this? Here we've got five square root of eleven and six. Which side would be the longest? What's our hypotenuse here? And it's interesting because I have some students that immediately want to say square root of eleven because eleven is bigger than five or six. Um, other students want to estimate it, and that's good to estimate. If we estimate this or type it on the calculator, we can see that it's actually smaller than either of those other two. So we could set it up 5 squared plus square root of 11 squared equals 6 squared. I actually, though, on a problem like this where I've got square roots, I like to square them first. Strategically, I like that best because then I can make sure I know which one's biggest. So 5 squared, 25. Square root of 11 squared, the square root and the squared cancel each other out, giving you just 11. 6 squared, 36. And then we just add 25 plus 11 equals 36. So 36 equals 36. Great. So this one is a right triangle. Let's look at 11 here. 3, 5, and square root of 31. So let's square all three of those. 3 squared is 9. 5 squared is 25. Square root of 31 squared is 31. So now we can see which one's biggest. The 31 is that. Let's go to the nth equation. So 9 plus 25 equals 31. And 9 plus 25 actually equals 34. So those are not equal. So that is not a right triangle. Try out uh, these two here. You may want to calculate for some of them. In fact, you will. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And check. Make sure you square them first so you know which one's the biggest, and then go from there. Okay, so problem number this one. 12 squared, 144. 15 squared, 225. Square root of 300 squared is just 300. Add these two up. Those make, uh, I'll tell you one thing, they don't make 300. Uh, 369, which is not the same as 300. So that one's, no, it's not right. Not right at all. 13, square that, 204. 23 squared, 529. 325 squared, 325 squared, 325. This is so the trickiest part, I think, on these ones is remembering that with the square root, you just cancel out the square root. If it's not square root, you actually have to square it. Um, yeah. So we need to add those outside two together. 204 plus 325 equals 529. And it gives us 529 equals 529. And so this one is right. Right triangle, yay. Well, uh, hope that made sense. Hope that worked for you. Um, hope that theorem converse, great stuff. See you later. Have a good one. Bye.